Hey there, Norman here from Noise Engineering. Let's talk about a creative use for reverb. While reverb can be used to create echoes and spaces, it can also be used for other things. Today we're going to be using reverb to add texture to a standard sawtooth wave to create a horn and string effect. We're going to be using a few different envelopes for this, including the envelope out from the Cursus Ateritas Presido. We're going to start with a simple sequence using a sawtooth wave. Our sawtooth sequence is being filtered and VCA'd by Sinquicina, and then it goes into the Desmodus Versio for the reverb. Reverb adds echoes. Static reverb is great for adding space to our sound. But what if we shape our verb? By changing the regen parameter on the DV, you can change the length of the echoes. We're going to use some CV modulation from three different envelopes to get our texture today. I have them running through the scope so we can see what each envelope shape looks like. Each envelope shape is going to create a different texture within our sound. We'll be looking at three different shapes today. A reverse saw, a triangle, and an ADSR with high decay and sustain. Let's start with a reverse saw envelope from the CIP. If we go straight from the envelope into our regen end, the DV will start ducking the audio input. This can be a great effect, but today we want to limit the modulation so that our regen stays within a specific range. We're going to attenuate the signal using the lapsus oz, which will allow our envelope to modulate the regen within our chosen range. We'll do this with all of the envelopes today. Using a reverse saw envelope, we can even shape our sound so that it sounds like a horn. Next, we'll use a triangle from the Pons Asinorum. We'll turn the regen up a little bit so that the shimmer starts to come through. This is nice. The shape of the triangle makes smooth changes in the feedback, creating a nice string effect. Finally, we'll use an ADSR envelope.
we have a high decay and sustain with short attack and release. This really accentuates the string effect and pushes the strings back in the audio space. Wow, that was a blast. I think we got some really cool textures and effects by using envelopes to modulate our reverb. Now everything that you saw today can be used with any hardware or software reverb as long as it has a feedback modulation input. We found that using different envelope types creates different effects, so be sure to try a few. Hope you had as much fun as I did, and be sure to like, subscribe, and sign up for notifications so you know when the new videos are coming out. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us today.